Hello everyone! So I'm starting this week's weekly vlog in the closet because I just got ready to go to the gym. Um, it's a weekday. Weekday. It's a weekend. It's a Saturday. So I was able to sleep in a little bit. I don't usually do this, but today I really needed it and it feels so, so good. So now I'm just going to apply some sunscreen and then I will go to the gym. But the problem is, the problem is that I, my muscles ache everywhere in my body, like my neck here, my back muscles and shoulder muscles there, they ache so much. It's so stiff. I feel like an old lady and also my legs like here and here and in the back of the legs. Oh, but I think like my stomach doesn't really hurt. So I'll probably do an ab workout and then Oh my gosh, you see, it's beautiful weather outside. So I will then probably go take a little walk, eat a leisurely black breakfast outside on the terrace and yeah, read. I have to do a little bit of work, but only because I don't want to be stressed next week, but Maybe I also do that tomorrow and today is a full relaxing day. So yeah, maybe I will also go through the city again. Maybe buy something. I love buying stuff, you know that. And yeah, oh, I also have to do a workout haul, like a workout clothing haul because I got quite a bit new stuff. And yeah, now my arm aches as well from holding the camera which is the sign that I should go to gym. So I will see you later. Apply my sunscreen, then go to gym. Hello, here I am again. I'm sorry, I'm not wearing makeup today because it's just such a nice weather outside. And yeah, such nice weather. I wanna go and tan in the sun to get even more tan. I'm actually quite tan right now, but I wanna be more tan and that's why I'm not wearing makeup. But I was making a little quick trip to Ikea and I thought I would share what I bought. Because the first thing is amazing. Like this is the best thing that I bought. This is actually kind of like a, a thing that you can pin everything in there. And I, it's, it's made out of linen, so it's stunning. And I am making my vision board on there. Because usually the vision boards, Ikea, okay, the nicest like where you can pin them on like I don't really like those pin walls pin walls I don't know how you say that in English I'm very sorry but um yes so that's why I bought this beautiful beautiful thing for my vision board then also this one this was actually so cheap this was only like three euros this one is a little notepad thing like a notepad like you can write on it and then you can erase it and I'll have a pen with it, like with this pen, with like a cork pen. So cork board, yes, a cork board. So yeah, I thought this might be quite good when I'm brainstorming for ideas so I can write them all down. It's like way bigger than an A4 paper. So yeah, and then I bought like two of those. They're also very, very cheap. They're like all style, like the first one that I wish thingy. This was like 25 years. Um, those are great as well because um, I think they're great to store probably like some cleaning tools in here like 250 each so perfect then I bought one of those those are like those um things I don't like Tupperware because I do not think that it's healthy to put your food inside something that's plastic even if it's BPA free and yeah because microplastic can get in your food and that's just not healthy for you so i always take glass containers i have one of those and a little smaller one of those and then i got the wood tops so they are good purchase as well then i got a wood chopping board because you can chop it and you can also use it like to decorate um when you have a dinner party like you can put if you like cheese, you can put cheese on there, but I don't really like cheese. So I will probably put like olives or my date stuffed, my stuffed dates with bacon or just something like that in there. So yeah, really like this one. And then I randomly bought this because um, it's good for 
you have to sift flour for baking cakes and I like to bake cakes. Then another spatula because you can never have enough. And then this one, I thought that's amazing. Here on top, if I could open it, here on top, you're supposed to put like the washing up liquid, then you close it and then you click and then you can clean your things like, and you don't have to put the washing up liquid on the sponge so it's one in one at one and one in the pearl. So yeah, and then the only things that I actually, those are actually just things that I just picked up because I was there. I think Ikea is something like, for example, when I watch American vlogs, Target, I think it's probably the same. They always go to buy one thing and they come out with like numerous things and very long receipt. Um, but the, the, the one thing that I actually came in here was to buy some cushions and a nice throw for my lounge outside. So I bought two of those blue cushions, they're called Gurli, and they're the 50 times 50. So I also bought two 50 times 50 pillow inserts. And then I bought this beautiful throw, it's called Gunemor. Gune, and yeah, it's very, very nice. So I'm now going to put everything away, style those pillows up outside, and then I'm probably going to make some lunch because I'm hungry. So yeah, we'll see us later. morning you guys i'm going to the gym here in my little gym kit and oh my god i have a few things to unpack for you i know that just yesterday we unpacked the ikea things but another few things came like i bought some stuff in a massimo Dutti sale that already came just today in the morning so we're gonna unpack this later when i come back from the gym and also I bought so much stuff in the Zara sale, but most of it was online. And like everything until now was online because it just started yesterday. But next to my gym is Zara. So I might pop in there and maybe I find something in store because in store the sale just starts today. So I could be in a very lucky position. So yeah, um, let me go to Zara and then I will report back to you. So wish me a good gym session. Bye bye.
Good morning everyone. As you can see, I just tried out the Dyson um, Airwrap Round Brush because I had the Dyson Airwrap since like two and a half years. No, three years now, I think. I bought it, yeah, I bought it right on the day that lockdown was announced. It was like the last day where everything was open. So I think I, think I was in the store when they announced that there will be the first lockdown um, at midnight. So obviously I had to I had to buy it but my round brush always broke off I don't know I always had such a problem with my round brush and I was like well maybe it just isn't for my hair the round brush but then I saw a TikTok where a girl talked about the same issue that the round brush just it always just like broke off I, even if I put like the smallest pressure on the air wrap it broke off and with round brush you obviously need a little bit of pressure so then when i saw that i called the dyson let me do my makeup whilst whilst telling you the story because this by the way this is my new favorite sunscreen it's helio care and it's like non-toxic and everything and broad spectrum and it's mil mineral one so perfect but i was talking about dyson arab so then i told them the issue and they were like oh well it sounds broken but sadly your guarantee's over like your warranty's over but we have it on in stock so you can purchase it and i was like okay well can i purchase it um it's like usually like 40 dollars but luckily they had some kind of sale going on so it was only 20 plus um sh shipping so like what i bought it for like 30 inclu including shipping so yeah and now I have it since like two, three days. And you see, I don't really have to adjust out, like especially in the front. I still, I'm still trying like what's the best thing to do, but my Ilya skin tint, but I think it actually already looks pretty nice. It's very easy. I mean, this literally, you were on speed, but this literally took me less than five minutes to do my, whole head and yeah that's great because i i'm the kind of person i can work from home a lot of the times like most of the times i can work from home perfectly so i wouldn't have to put on makeup make my hair but i well i don't always i'm sorry i just ran out of space so i have to delete some files but yeah was i talking about well yeah even if i just i always have to do my hair in some kind of way because i just feel better and yeah and i am also more productive so this is the charlotte tilbury i think like the pot concealer in one fair i really like it but i also really love my nars cream radiant which i always put on over top because dark circles are probably one of my like my it's probably my worst skin concern like my biggest skin concern is dark circles and um, yeah i'm italian so we always have dark circle and especially from italy like big part from my italian family is from sicily so their dark circles are even more prevalent but yeah i was talking about the dice narrative well now i have the brush it doesn't fall off so if you had the same issue call dyson maybe it's still in your warranty and otherwise it's not that expensive to buy to buy just the attachment but i am very happy with it like for now i'm very happy with it um yeah as you might have seen before i said i wanted to go to zara to check out the sale stuff but i actually did not find anything in zara but that's probably because i made a huge order yesterday night when the sale started online because it first started online and just now as in store from today so the most of the things that i saw in store i that i liked i already bought online a few things i tried and they just just didn't really suit me so um i gave them a poor pass but yeah i'm excited to see how the pieces are that will be delivered but also the zara that i went into today was not a huge one i don't live near a huge zara so maybe if when i go to a bigger zara there might be 
some more things that I can try on because I think in Zara a lot of the times um, in the online shop some pieces just don't look that special and don't look that good and also in the hanger they don't look very special but then if you try them there are a few gems hidden I always look so weird when I do my mascara but I think probably everyone looks a little bit weird whilst doing mascara maybe not maybe it's just me and yeah that was but yeah then i went into mango and mango sale also started yesterday i think online or today i don't know but i did find a few things in mango and as i told you before my massimo duty pieces are right again i have to delete a lot of files but yeah now i am going to eat some breakfast and later in the day i will show you my new sale finds of this season so yeah we talk later so here is my little breakfast and because i was shopping for such a long time after the gym it's actually my lunch i usually don't skip breakfast but today i did so this is my breakfast slash lunch which i'm going to enjoy then i work a bit and then it's whole time so hello again it's time for the haul and here I have my mango purchases and here I have the box of Massimo Duty purchases so why don't we start with I think we can start with the mango purchases so here I will just first show you. First, I got those linen, those white linen pants. They are gorgeous. I mean, if I go back, you see it? Oh yeah. And now you can also see my outfit for today. This is old Zara and this is like from a boutique. I got it from some kind of boutique um, years ago. So yeah, let me just try those things on. So here are the mango pieces i first got this little waistcoat i always wanted one of those and i think it looks very very nice i got a small and not an extra small because i like it to be a little bit flowy and not too tight around the bust area but yeah i love this waistcoat definitely a keep and here are the linen pants i mean i really like them wait i just put you a little bit more back because Otherwise, you can't see the full shot. Well, like that. You see? I think they're very, very nice. Also from the back, they are nice. And I paired it just with my Chanel sling bag pumps. But um, yeah, those. You see it? Well, yeah, those two things are definitely a keep. And I love them. So here is the first piece from Massimo Dutti. It's this little cardigan. This is a little red and white strap cardigan. And I have to say, I actually really, really like this cardigan. I, I wanted it for quite some time, but it was actually sold out. And then I wanted to buy it, but the sale started. So I got lucky, but well, not too lucky because this one is actually too big. I'm usually a size extra small. With cardigans, I like sometimes a size small because I don't like those tight looking cardigans, but this one is actually medium. But I think it's not too bad because I actually kind of like this oversized look on the cardigan. So yeah, I mean, I think we can keep it. I really think we can. So here is the next little thing. It's this top also from Massimo Dutti. I think it has some Greek kind of thing with this here. So I really like it too. And it was only, I think $35 or something like that. And then the last piece from Massimo Dutti is here. And it's this cardigan and it's kind of, it's this nice fluffy material. It's cocky, it has beautiful buttons. Like it looks and feels very high quality, but does it look a little bit too grandma? Because I mean, yeah, my grandma is stylish, but she would she would definitely wear this too. So yeah, let's just have a look. What do you think? Do you think it's too grandma? 
why you think do you think it works um because i'm not i'm not quite sure yet i actually really like it but i don't know <sighs> don't know maybe i wait if it goes even more down in the sale like maybe then it's okay but i mean let me know please let me know so yeah those are the massimo Ruti and mango pieces i hope you liked it and now i think i will finish this vlog for now like for the week but i will be back with new vlog next week and you can already be very happy or you can already look forward to a zara haul because i think maybe until next week the zara things should be here if they aren't there are sure a lot of other things that i could film and show you but also let me know what kind of things that you prefer to see in a vlog and yeah i will see you then bye bye